Hi, this is Darren with StudioShortcuts.com. Today we're going to be looking at side chaining in Ableton Live 8. Uh, a lot of the uh, digital audio workstations uh, will do side chaining now, but Ableton is by far the easiest. <clears throat> it only takes a few seconds to uh, set up, and uh, here's how you do it. You brought in a kick drum, it's nice and fat, and we also brought in a pad that we're going to side chain and this is um, I've got the sustain portion of it uh, looped here so we can really see how this works um, so now we have the kick in bring in a compressor on the pad channel hit the triangle turn on side chaining and then the audio input should be the kick channel Turn on the pad and pull down the threshold, you'll hear it start working. And that is basic side chaining. You see you're getting a lot of gain reduction right here. If you adjust <clears throat> the attack and release, uh, it'll sort of fine tune it for your groove, whatever your groove might be. Uh, so that's basic side chaining. Now there's another purpose for this, uh, besides this sort of special effect thing, and uh, let's go ahead and get rid of that. And uh, that is, uh, when you have a bass line, for instance, that uh, doesn't get along with your kick, maybe they clash because they're in the same frequency spectrum. Uh, you can see here, this bass line's got a lot of information right around 100 hertz, and if you look at the kick, it does as well so they're kind of clashing in the mix so you want to bring this compressor in same thing again hit the triangle turn on side chain choose kick as the trigger pull down the threshold you're getting some gain reduction and now they will sit together in a mix and your kick will be nice and loud and your track will sound great this is darren with studio shortcuts.com